Hi guys, I'm Miss Rachel. I normally do story times at the Nobo Library, the very smallest library in Boulder, but I can't go in there right now because as you may have noticed, things are a little bit different. So instead, this story time is coming to you from my house. You can tell I'm at my house. Behind me is my fireplace. Over there you can see just a little bit of my plants and you might even see one or two of my cats come walking through for this story time. I'm not sure yet, because I don't know if they like story time, but we'll see. I like it. All right, I like to start my story times by singing a song. The song is called, The More We Get Together. And I know what you might be thinking, we're not together, we're apart right now. But by watching each other through this video, by talking to each other, by playing with each other, we're still being together. We're together even though we're apart. So I think this is still a really good song to sing. You might know how it goes. If you don't, you can just watch along and I'll sing it again so that you can try to sing with me. Okay, if you're ready, you can tap your hands on your lap. You can't see my lap, but you can tap your hands on your lap just like I do. It goes like this. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job, guys. Did you sing that with me? Let's try it again. If you didn't sing it the first time, maybe you could try to sing it now. Repeating things like this is really good for a developing brain, which is what you have in your head. So caregivers, parents, grown-ups, if you're singing with kids, remember repeating things is really important for development. Let's try and repeat that song again. You ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job, guys. Thank you for singing with me. Thank you. This is how you say thank you in sign language. Hand on your chin, and you push it out, and you say thank you. In Spanish, you might say gracias. Gracias means thank you in Spanish. All right, good job singing our beginning song. Let's get started with a book. This book is one that I really like. It's a new book. It's called Baby Goes to Market. And it's all about the adventures of a baby who goes to market with, who's that? Their mama. They go to market with their mama. Pretty exciting. This book is by Atenuke. That's the person who wrote the words. And Angela Brooksbank is the person who drew the pictures. Can we say, thank you. Thank you, Atenuke. Gracias, Angela. Gracias for the pictures. Let's get started with this book and see what happens when baby goes to market. Here we go. Baby goes to market with mama. There they go, look at that. Busy, busy market they're going to. I even see a bus. There's a bus at the market. Probably to bring more people to the market. Yep, this page says, market is very crowded and baby is very curious. Baby is so curious that Mrs. Ade, the banana seller, gives baby six bananas. <gasps> six bananas. In Spanish, bananas are called platanos. At least that's what they're called in Mexico. Platanos, six yellow bananas. Baby is so surprised. <gasps> surprised. Baby eats one banana and puts five bananas in the basket. <gasps> Mama does not notice she is too busy buying rice. Arroz, arroz is rice, <gasps> yum. Oh, what do we see? Who else is hanging around the rice in this book? They're red and yellow and feathery and I think they say, buck, 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 chickens, <gasps> chickens. Oh my gosh, pollos, 
chickens are hanging around the rice. Okay, market is very crowded and baby is very hot. Oh, so hot. Baby is so hot that Mr. Femi, the orange seller, gives baby five juicy oranges. <gasps> Yum. Naranjas. Naranjas oranges. Do you like oranges? I love oranges. They're so delicious. Baby grins. Baby sucks one orange. And what do you think baby does with the rest of those oranges? <gasps> Puts four oranges in the basket. Mama does not notice she is too busy buying palm oil. Hmm, maybe she'll use that for cooking or to put in her hair to make it shiny. What do you think? Hmm, I bet you could use it for a lot of different things. I bet that's why there's so much of it here for sale. Palm oil. Market is very crowded and baby is very cheerful. Baby is so cheerful that Mr. Momo, the biscuit seller, gives baby four sugary chin chin biscuits. Oh my gosh, look at those biscuits. What shape are they? They're shaped like something that we know. They're stars. They're star biscuits. Estrellas, stars. Those biscuits are shaped just like stars. Baby claps. So excited, baby eats one chin chin and puts three chin chin in the basket. That basket's getting full. My goodness, mama does not notice she is too busy buying chili peppers. <gasps> Ooh, spicy, picante, spicy. Market is very crowded and baby is very funny. Baby is so funny that Mrs. Kunle, the sweet corn seller, gives baby three roasted sweet corn. Oh, I love sweet corn, especially in the summer. It's such a good summertime food. Do you like corn? In Spanish, you would call it maíz. Maíz, corn. Baby beams. That means the baby smiles so big. Baby eats one roasted sweet corn and what do you think that baby's gonna do with the rest of the corn? Puts two roasted sweet corn in the basket. Mama does not notice she is too busy buying flip-flops. Flip-flops, those are good summer shoes too. What sound do they make? They go flip-flop, flip-flop when you walk. Market is very crowded and baby is very naughty. Uh-oh. Very naughty, pulling on all the clothes. Oh no, baby is so sorry. Oh, he's so sorry that Mrs. Dele, the coconut seller gives baby two pieces of coconut. Do you like coconut? I'll tell you a secret. I don't, I don't like coconut, but I think that baby does because baby licks his lips. Mmm, baby eats one piece of coconut. And what do you think he does with that other coconut? Puts the other piece in the basket. Mama does not notice, but her basket is very heavy. Pesado, pesado, so heavy. Very, very heavy. And Mama thinks her sweet baby must be hungry by now. Do you think that baby's hungry? I don't know. I think that baby's been eating a lot of secret snacks. Let's find out. Taxi! Mama shouts. We need to get home quick and fast. Hurry, hurry. Rapido, rapido. Mama puts her basket down. What is this? Cries Mama. Five bananas, four oranges, three chin chin biscuits, two roasted sweet corn, one piece of coconut? I did not buy these. She doesn't remember. She didn't notice what was happening. She was too busy shopping. No, you didn't, 
Cry, Mrs. Ade, the banana seller, and Mr. Femi, the orange seller, and Mr. Momo, the chin chin seller, and Mrs. Kunle, the sweet corn seller, and Mrs. Dele, the coconut seller. We gave those things to baby. She didn't buy them. They were presents. Presents for baby for being so sweet. Mama looks at baby. Baby laughs. And Mama laughs too. What a good baby, she says. You put all those things straight into the basket. Mama rides the taxi and baby goes to sleep. Poor baby, says Mama. He's not had one single thing to eat. Oh my goodness. Is that true? No, that baby had a lot of things to eat. Oh, what a silly baby. Very sneaky to sneak all that food into their baby tummy without mama noticing. Good job, baby. Oh, that sounds good. I have another song that we can sing very quickly. It's about all kinds of fruits, just like we read about in our book. Are you ready? This song is pretty simple. So after you hear me sing one or two verses, you'll probably figure it out. We need some fruit. I've got some fruit right here. And what else do we need for this song? We need a bowl and the best part, a big spoon for stirring. All right, this song is called Fruit Salad and it's about all different kinds of fruit that go into the salad. Let's start with our big, big fruit. What's this? Do you know what this one is? This fruit has the same name as its color. This is an orange, an orange naranja. Remember we read about those in our book? All right, we're gonna sing about this fruit first and our song goes a little something like this. It goes, add the orange to our fruit salad, add the orange to our fruit salad, add the orange to our fruit salad, way down yonder in the kitchen. Ready, take that orange, we put it in our bowl. There's the beginning of our fruit salad. What other fruit should we add to this salad? Here's another one that was in our book. What's this yellow fruit? You can't eat the outside, but you can eat the inside. This is bananas. Remember what they're called in Spanish? Platanos, platanos, bananas. All right, are you ready to sing with me about the bananas? Here we go. Add the bananas to our fruit salad. Add the bananas to our fruit salad. Add the bananas to our fruit salad. Way down yonder in the kitchen. And in they go, into the bowl. Our fruit salad is getting started. What other fruit should we put in there? Here's a fruit you might know. What's this little red and green fruit? It's so sweet, but just a little bit tart. This is strawberries strawberries do you like strawberries in spanish they're called fresas fresas strawberries they're another really good fruit to eat in the summer all right are we ready to add the strawberries to our salad ready to sing about it here we go Add the strawberries to our fruit salad. Add the strawberries to our fruit salad. Add the strawberries to our fruit salad. Way down yonder in the kitchen. Ready? Here's our bowl. In go the strawberries. What else should we put in this fruit salad? I have an even smaller red fruit. What is this one? Oh, they're little round berries with green, green leaves. This is raspberries raspberries in spanish frambuesas that's kind of a long name huh frambuesas raspberries okay are we ready to add these ready to sing here we go add the raspberries to our fruit salad add the raspberries to our fruit salad add the raspberries to our fruit salad way down yonder in the kitchen ready here's our bowl it's getting very full of fruit in go the raspberries. All right, now I have one more fruit to add to our fruit salad. This fruit was not in our book and this fruit isn't as common as our other ones. So you might not know what it is. You might know and if you know, can you tell me right now? What fruit is this? It has a brown furry skin and inside it's green. 
and this fruit has a very short little name to match how little the fruit is. This is kiwis. Kiwis. And guess what? I don't know how to say this fruit in Spanish. Maybe you could ask a grown-up and see if they can look it up with you. Or maybe you already know how to say kiwi in Spanish and you can tell me. Let's sing it um, in English and put it in our bowl. This is the last fruit we're gonna add. All right, are you ready? Add the kiwis to our fruit salad. Add the kiwis to our fruit salad. Add the kiwis to our fruit salad. Way down yonder in the kitchen. Ready? Here we go, into our bowl full of fruit. Go the kiwis. Oh my gosh. Now, the final step in making a fruit salad. What do you need? The big spoon. You take your spoon, you put it in the bowl with your fruit, and you stir, 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 mezclar, to mix, mezclar, mezclar, mix, mix, mix all that fruit up, and now we're gonna eat some fruit salad. Let me try some first to make sure it's okay. Here's a big scoop. Oh my gosh. Guys, that's the best fruit salad I've ever tasted. Would you like to try a bite? I'm going to scoop a bite out for you. Here you go, crunch it up. <laughs> Isn't that the best fruit salad you've ever had? Good job, guys. Thank you so much for reading with me. Thank you for helping me make that fruit salad. And thank you for coming to Storytime with Boulder Public Library. And I know I'm gonna see you again soon. So until then, I'll just say, bye-bye.